Well, good morning, everybody, with Carolina Weather Authority. I am meteorologist Joshua Nagelberg, and let's just say goodbye to Faye. Goodbye. So, a uh, cool part about Faye is it was pretty well forecast for us. Um, we were either going to have a non-named storm, which was going to come right up through the eastern part of the area and produce a ton of rain, or we were going to have a developing tropical storm, which was going to scoot just offshore and produce most of the rain out there, and that was I guess kind of what we were thinking, so we kind of missed out on the worst of the rain. It's going to be hitting uh, the Delmarva today and up into New Jersey, New York tonight into the first part of the weekend, so not our problem anymore. So my video is going to be talking about heat, and if you've been following our longer range forecasts, if you're a subscriber and have been getting our newsletters, you know that the heat is the story for this summer, especially in the month of July. Uh, we had, I guess, a little bit cooler than average April and May, and then June had some cool and wet spells, but June was actually pretty close to or even just a little bit above the average. Uh, and now we're in July and it's already running above average, and I suspect that we're going to see even more of that. In fact, uh, we're looking at the heat of the summer, and we're going to have an article about that. So before we go any further, make sure that you check out our website, carolinawxauthority.com where we're going to be giving you daily forecasts. And uh, today, Friday the 10th, um, after Faye is gone, we're looking at some pretty nasty heat and humidity. Um, this is not going to be as hot as we get over the next couple of weeks, but it may feel about as miserable as it could. Um, the reason for that is that we're going to see some fairly uh, muggy dew points well into the 70s and daytime highs in the middle 90s for most of the inland areas like Charlotte, Raleigh, and Columbia. At the coast, we're looking at upper 80s. Also, do us a favor real quick, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Carolina Weather Authority. Um, we're going to be giving you videos with temperatures, uh, any tropical trouble, and some longer range forecasts, and then maybe some daily updates if the time permits. So let's talk about the heat, why don't we? This is our uh, medium range forecast from the uh, Climate Prediction Center, and it is showing a good chunk of the country being above average for the from the middle of next week until the following weekend so this would be the time to go to the beaches if you want to cool off really the next couple of weeks we're expecting above average temperatures not quite nationwide but across the central and eastern two-thirds of the country uh, now the 8 to 14 day which really covers i guess next weekend and into the following week uh, we're looking at the continued likelihood of above average temperatures and notice the cooling in the west starts to decrease. And um, as a whole, I would not be completely shocked if the month of July for the United States ended up being one of the warmest of all time. I will be bold enough and stick my neck out there and say that is going to be the case. Um, the month forecast, <clears throat> excuse me, is again, we're likely to be a couple of degrees above average in the Carolinas. Um, if you factor in some of those wetter days that we had, that's going to be some pretty brutal temperatures. Uh, will it compare to 2012, which I think set some all-time record heat across many areas? I think Raleigh, we had 105 reached several times. I don't quite think so. Um, the ground is still fairly moist. We had a lot of rain the last couple of months. That's going to keep us from getting too brutally hot. However, um, if you're looking for any kind of relief in the heat other than an afternoon thunderstorm, I don't have anything for you. So that's the point I'd like to make. Um, this is a temperature anomaly forecast from the European model. And obviously the brighter colors, the reds, are above average. Um, and this was actually this morning. Um, the blues are below average. And I'm going to kind of scoot along with you. And if you look at much of the country, Friday and Saturday and Sunday and Monday, with the exception of maybe a trough coming through the Great Lakes this weekend, a little bit of temporary relief, um, it is still going to be quite warm. This is next Tuesday, and look at this heat across the southern plains, and look at the Carolinas, 8 degrees above average. Maybe Charlotte is 11 degrees above average Tuesday, uh, Tuesday evening. And look at this heat across the uh, midsection of the country, Tuesday and Wednesday. And I'll give you some temperature forecasts in a minute here. Uh, but notice next Thursday into Friday, with the exception of some blues where there may be thunderstorms, we are well above the average. This is Friday and next weekend. Almost everybody in the United States, with the exception of maybe the Dakotas and the Pac Northwest and the Gulf Coast, will be well above average for next Saturday, the 18th. So if you are planning to go to the beaches, I would say Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of next week would be a good time to do it because 
it is not going to be fun out there. If you think your air conditioner has been getting hit hard, just wait a couple of days. Um, we're going to be in for a brutal stretch of heat. This is the European model. The GFS kind of is in the same boat. So what do these uh, departures get us temperature-wise? Okay, well, this is the weekend, and we're looking at mid-90s. Early next week, mid to upper 90s. Look at this, 100 degrees out here. Uh, mid to upper 90s, if you're up in Richmond, um, some of the areas in here, I think, could touch 100 degrees by next weekend. And then maybe a tiny bit of relief coming early the following week. Um, this is from thunderstorms in Raleigh. But look at this, uh, the 22nd, 101, 102 in Charlotte. Um, 104, I mean, we very well could see some record highs being set uh, by the end of the week after next. This is the GFS. This is one model run, but I've been seeing a lot of consistency in the models. Here's the European model for you real fast. And uh, this is next week, and we're in the mid-90s in most areas, Tuesday and Wednesday. There's 100 in Raleigh, by the way. 104 in Richmond, 101 in Charlotte. These numbers could end up being a little on the high side, but just notice the amount and the breadth of the heat that we're looking at for next weekend and into early the following week. We're likely to see upper 90s and maybe some triple digits are possible here. So uh, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Um, we're going to have an article coming out later. We'll have more YouTube videos. Um, the tropics look to quiet down for the next couple of weeks. This region of high pressure is going to simmer us, and that's going to keep any tropical activity well to the south. I think the next areas to watch are maybe Florida and the Gulf of Mexico, and we've got probably 10 days before we worry about that. Um, but as we get to the end of this month and probably the beginning of August, I think we do start to see more tropical activity and more Cape Verde systems. And at that point, instead of watching um, low pressure areas forming right on the coastal areas in close, we're probably looking at some more long track storms. And at that point, I think we're looking at some uh, major hurricanes by maybe the middle of August, let's say. Uh, so the story over the next, uh, I think, 30 days is going to be above average for most of us. I would stick my neck out and say four or five degrees above average, uh, which is going to be very significant and is definitely going to put some heat on the power grid. And with lots of people working from home, um, do expect to see your AC bill go up quite a bit for the next month. All right, guys, uh, please, if you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And, uh, of course, head over to our, um, to our Facebook page, and we will keep you posted on the latest. All right, everyone, have a great weekend and stay cool out there. We'll see you later.